please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you wanted to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you got to do is use the links in the description if you want to get one of these for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. Just picked up an Asus ROG Strix B360i gaming motherboard, and this is an ITX. That's what the I stands for. It's a B360, so it'll use 8th and 9th generation Intel chips. But the cool thing is, it's a lot cheaper than the Z boards because I'm not going to be overclocking. I'm going with an i5. I originally picked up an i3 and I decided to go with the i5. This is going into a Fantex Enthu uh, ITX tempered glass case. I'm going to be pairing it with 16 gigs of Corsair RAM, putting in an i5 chip. I'm going with a Samsung 970 Evo M2, 250 gigs. And I'm also putting a GTX 1060 in there from Asus. So it's going to be the Strix graphics card that goes along with the Strix motherboard. So the cool thing about that is the RGB lighting, as you can see down the side, works together. I'll be able to control the RGB on the video card through the motherboard, which is pretty cool. And also the Fantex uh, RGB lighting inside the case that comes with the Fantex Enthu. It's a great price for a motherboard because it's got two channels of RAM. So if you're going with 16 or 32 or 64, whatever you want to do. And the cool thing about going with an ITX build is it draws a lot less power than an ATX board. It's a lot cheaper than the Z boards because I'm not going to be overclocking. I'm going with an i5. I originally picked up an i3 and I decided to go with the i5. There's the anti-static bag, as you can see. Once you take the top box up on the inside, there's a whole different tray, like a whole level of components and parts. You've got your manual here. You got your DVD ROM disc. You've got a really cool set of stickers here, which are kind of shiny, a little bit iridescent. It says ROG, uh, Republic of Gamers, all kinds of ASUS stickers, which is pretty cool. It's got little tie downs for the M2 drives, uh, extension cables. We've got our Wi Fi and Bluetooth antennas, which come with it. We've got our SATA cable, a whole bunch of zip ties to tie everything up, all the cables. We've got our standoffs here for the M2s. This is the one thing you're probably going to need for your M2 drives. So I'll take that out and put that to the side now. Here's the motherboard itself. It's a really good looking motherboard. The heat spreader for your M2 drive, which goes underneath it. You've got your CPU, obviously. It's got two DIMMs for RAM. It's a CPU fam. Power connectors here and here. This is the I.O. board on the back of it. Obviously, you've got your Wi-Fi antennas here. It's got a spit if out Sony Phillips digital interface uh, output for your audio. You've got your rear output. It's got your center or sub. You've got your line in, your line out, and your microphone in. You've also got the pinouts on the motherboard, which go to your case for your microphone and your uh, headphones out. You've got the newest USBs over here. You have your Ethernet cable here. You've got a, a USB Type-C. You've got the USB 3.1, got a USB 3.0, and two 2.0 USBs. You've also got your DisplayPort connector right here and your HDMI. The, the I.O. shield or the back plate is already on the motherboard, and it doesn't come off which is really cool because these things are kind of a pain to put in and they always cut your fingers every time you put them in. So it's nice that that's attached. It's got some really cool logos and designs and everything on the back. Uh, your other M2 drive is on the back over here. That's very nice because once your PC is built and it's a pain to get to, if you want to add another M2 drive later on down the road, all you have to do is take the right side panel off the PC and you have access to this. Once you have your graphics card in here and you have your RAM and you have your CPU with the cooler, it's going to be a lot harder to be able to access this to get to the, the M2 drive. I'm actually going to be putting my Samsung 970 Evo, my M2 drive. I'm going to be using that as my main hard drive going underneath this. And then later on, when I get a little bit more money and I want to upgrade to add another one for extra storage, I'm going to be putting that on the back of the motherboard. Okay, so I got the computer completely built and I wanted to show you what it looks like at night. There is the ASUS motherboard with the ASUS video card, the 1060 Strix. It's the ROG Republic of Gamers video card and the ROG Strix. pick up one of these for yourself i'm going to leave some links down in the description and if you can make sure to click that like button subscribe to my channel for more awesome content and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section down below thanks again for watching take care